Hi, welcome to another video. Today I am back at Lydon Hill. Check it out. On the back of my seven day challenge where I did motorsport for one day, there's another event at Lydon Hill. So I'm actually going to spend the whole day, do another one of my um, motorsport videos where I stand at the edge of the circuit and take some shots, but also into the paddocks, do some street photography. It's kind of what I like doing. <laughs> Excuse the squeak. Um, so let's get in and I'll tell you more about it and why I'm doing it again. Hello there. Hiya. Perfect. Can I just scan that one? Yeah. Amazing. There we go, sir. Thank you. Have a lovely day. See you later. Looks like a full-on event today. What's happening is the Euro uh, is the Rally Legends, Lydon, Lydon Legends Festival, celebrating the fact that Lydon Hill was the forerunner of Rallycross in Britain. So not only have we got historic cars racing around, there's um, current ones, four-wheel drive monsters, they call them. And that gives me the opportunity to actually, you know what I did the other day with my challenge photography, and I always maintain that I shoot at 1 60th of a second with auto ISO in shutter priority. And I thought, you know what? I experimented with a hundredth of a second, then 1 25th of a second, then even 200th of a second. And I guess it all depends on how quick the subject's moving that you pan with the vehicle. But because it's on, I thought I'd come back and give it another go, but this time ignore the 1 60th of a second and actually shoot at 100th, maybe 1 25th of a second. Because I'm intrigued to find out if I can actually sharpen the car. Because normally when I take a shot and I'm panning with it, I'll get the front of the car focused or the back of the car. And that was always running at a 60th of a second. So we'll see what's what, but it's lunch break now. So we can go into the paddocks and actually do some street photography. So I'll get the street photography element done first <laughs> with my normal setup, GoPro and um, Sony Cybershot. And yeah, just have a stroll around to capture some people having their lunch. <laughs> okay, so armed with the Cybershot and the GoPro, we'll just do some footage walking around. There's, I've, I've already done one circuit just to see what's what. Plenty of activity going on loads of people. I love this kind of activity for the street photography element because I'll just capture people doing things, engaged in conversation. Um, yeah, let's just start. Right, I do apologise if you can't see the screen. I've got it on brightest display. But you can actually see over the top what I'm shooting at. So let's just do a walk around. Shutter priority. Now I'm going to go into aperture priority here because it gives me the best aspect and I'm going to make sure that I'm in auto ISO just see if I can get some people doing stuff. All shots will be in black and white. If I see something interesting we should take a shot. And I might even just take some pictures of cars. boy racer checking his phone that one will have to be in color because I like the um, hat maybe I should take some pictures of the general public as well that makes for um, an interesting shot doesn't it oh yeah so would you the mass crowd. Remember what I said the other day when I was down at the, um, at the beach? 
and you're actually looking at something in the distance but it gives the impression to the person you're actually taking a picture of that they are not the subject. Now I have to take a picture of this because this is a Saab 99 and I grew up loving these in Sweden and that has to be in colour. Lovely stuff. Do a gallery of the static cars as well. Guys fixing their tyres. What tyres shall we use? <laughs> How about the one that's got air in it? Oh, watch out, don't bug about. That's a nice homage to Colin McRae there. People with dogs, why not? I'm absolutely in love with this team. We've got a Mark I Escort in a white and blue livery and the support vehicle is a <laughs> kind of a Mark II Transit but it's also in the same livery. Sorry, had to give way to that. Let's take a nice shot of that. First the van, Ford Transit. Imagine have one of them as your photography camper van. <laughs> and the Transit with the Escort. Another shot of that from the other side, I think. Oh. So I've actually arrived at lunch break because I was out doing other stuff. RS200 revving up. <laughs> There's one in there somewhere, isn't there? I was saying, shush, I'm trying to talk to the camera. <laughs> I arrived here just as lunch break happened, so I'm able to do this street photography element first before we go into the back, um, into the circle and take other pictures. I think this, I think they're lining up ready for another run. All the cars are going out. So I'm going to do is walk around that way. I will get some more street photography as I'm walking around, but if we get to the other part where the cars are going out, get some footage. There's beautiful people, look at them. They were waiting for me. Oh, I know what it is. They said they were going to do a circuit lap during lunch. So they're not dressed in their crash helmets and their, you know, fireproof outfits, but they're just going to drive the rally cars around the circuit. Got to be worth checking out, I think. But I'll tell you what, because there's so much activity, the people are so focused on getting here, there and everywhere. If you're in street photography, this is the place to be because you're just going to capture everything. Let's use the Sony to actually record some of these cars all lined up. Let me capture a few shots here.
that's the end of the street photography. It was just a bit chaotic then because I wanted to capture the cars going out. Um, a little bit of footage I, I would have added, but the majority of it, the majority of it will be on my Tudor Travels video because I'm doing two videos here today. So um, hop over there if you want to see them all queuing up here and, you know, leaving to go on the circuit. I'm going to try and get up there and, well, no, I'm not. That's on the Tudor Travels. I'm going to get my big camera for when they do the, um, the racing around the circuits. OK, the racing has started, so I've got to be quick here if I want to capture a couple of good shots because they're going over the jump and everything. So I'm at 100 for the second. Let's pan with the vehicle. Let's see if we can get it jumping. Oh, nice. Ford Escort's given up. I should have this on top and then I can do video footage as I'm doing it. Oh, they finished. I'll get, I'll get a couple of shots as they're passing. Nice looking cars. Okay, there's another batch coming. I'm just going to get an adapter and try and fix this on the camera. Okay, so I'm putting the Sony Cybershot on top of the DSLR and I'm going to just let this film the, film the video. if I can get my best shots with this. <laughs> kind of didn't plan it. I never plan things. And that's half the fun of just rocking up, you know, to do the photography. get a couple of more shots of them jumping and that'll do for this session. Oh. Little fiesta, here we go. Escort. That's the real thing, that's the action. I think when I was here just doing my seven day challenge just a couple of cars going around Devil's Elbow, but this is serious racing. What I'm going to try and do is, as they're jumping, I'm going to try and capture them landing. Because I've done the um, takeoffs. Let's see what the landings look like. Oh, it's finished. Maybe I'm not. The leader thought he'd finished, so he pulled over, and everyone else pulled over. <laughs> Is that an Opal Cadet? Vauxhall Chevette. I name it as I do it. I got a picture of that last week, didn't I? Stratos, TR7, 
Fox all over. Escort Mark II. Fiesta Mark II. And finally an over. So what am I doing? One hundredth of a second. Shut a priority. Supercar semi-final number two. We need Gary Donahue's car to be removed from Dover Slope, but we have another batch of 600 brake horsepower. Four-wheel drive whoa, running whoa, whoa, the big boys down are onto out. the starting line. And it's Ollie O'Donovan in number two who will start on a pole position. Tristan Avenden alongside in 72. Mike Seller in the polo. He's had a decent run so far today. He starts from P3. And on the back row, Steve Hill, the 74-year-old on row two, with Colin Anson in his new car for 2024, starting in the Mitsubishi Mirage. So coming in at this angle, P5. what I'm hoping to do is actually Richard capture Gravel them need removing as, as well they from lift off the jump. Devil's elbow after Michael Leonard's mishap. But once we've got Gary Donahue's car removed, we will be ready to go with Supercar semi-final number two, again running over five laps. That's what happens when you volunteer. <laughs> you could sweep up the circuit. Amazing, ahead. absolutely oh, amazing. Who would it be? It will be Ken Hansen. A good fight between the two new tech built cars, but it's the Peugeot that gets the better. It's a funny thing because if I'm doing photography, once I've got the, sh the few shots that I want, I'm, I'm basically, oh, that's it, don't need any more. <laughs> and then I'm eager to go home and do the editing. So, thanks very much for watching my. Photography is a real mishmash, a bit of street photography and rally cars. Um, but also, I was trying to make a video for my other channel as well, which um, kind of doesn't help if you're trying to split it over two different, you know, sort of mediums. One is visiting the site and then just watching the stuff, and one is photographing it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Another motorsport video on photography but thankfully I was using one 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 hundredth and one twenty fifth and I think it works a lot better than one sixtieth and I'll tell you what with the cars racing around so quickly I had to be quick as well <laughs> so see you in another video bye for now <laughs>